Hey there, everybody, and welcome to the first episode of Tatercraft. Uh, what was once Taco Craft is probably not going to be anymore, and instead I'm going to replace it with this, which is going to be basically the same, except uh, it might not just be me, and it might be team builds, or it might be uh, pretty much just whatever. What Kind of like miscellaneous videos for the channel, I guess. Um, but uh, for the first one today is something to do with uh, this week's snapshot. Um, have you ever, you know, sent off, sent off your cart and, and you send it off and somehow you accidentally click out of the cart or you hadn't clicked on the cart yet, even if you're just like pushing it down a track and you go to jump in, um, it can be, it can be an issue, you know? Um, but with trip wires, there's no way to detect if there's someone in the uh, cart. So we're, I'm going to go ahead and build a thing that will stop the cart from leaving your little station area if uh, there's no one in it. So use uh, a powered rail there. And then we're going to have these here just so that you see that the trip wires on so oh how do you do over that so if someone's in the cart that'll go on so you can see there it's on um, so that that's that's basically the whole the whole thing uh, I'll go ahead and make this a little pretty oh I wonder if they fixed no they didn't do that um whoop. we'll make it like a little a little station or something I don't know um So there's that on the, on the back side. What what shouldn't be shown or uh, seen by people is the wiring. Uh, so we're going to go right there, I believe. Um, so this way, when you're actually in the cart, oh nope, doesn't work. What am I doing wrong? Here, let's uh Is that is that not how power rail rails work? Does it have to be a redstone torch? Because that is unfortunate. Um so if I do that it's on and then I can change that by running that to it right so boom okay so then I stand on it and it comes on um, so I haven't actually tested this out so I don't know if the momentum carries like if if uh, if there's too much lag uh, between it, between hitting the wire and powering the rail. Stop it. Stop that. Um, so let's go ahead and, and try this out. So boom. Here I go. Okay, there is a little bit. So what I will do is perhaps moving this up a block is the right choice um, is that still no um, dupe. oh <laughs> forgot Can I, will this work angled? No. 
I love redstone. I love redstone. Do 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 do. There we go. Um. So boom. All right, now let's pop this down, and away we go. No, again, no. Let's try. <laughs> it works if you do it slow. Um, let me take out a couple of these. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. I'll try it with that. Nope, just barely. Um, so we'll just do this right quick. Where we go? Ah, oh, I'm I'm a little I'm a little disappointed. Okay, so it's it looks like it's not gonna work. Uh, starting off from a powered rail because you're moving too fast. Even this is moving too fast. Um, I'm gonna try pushing it back even more. Um. But then that's further away again from. Wow, really? That really surprises me how how much that's not working. Um, so if I have a cart and I push it and I jump in, then it works. So. So it works if you're going to push your cart. Um, let me fiddle with it just a little bit more. See if we can't get it to work. I mean, this is kind of a large distance. Um, another idea I was tooling with was making this... Uh, making it switch a track down the line so that... Uh, Using redstone to switch it, uh, switch, oh, oh no, to uh, switch, why is this not working now, does it have to be here, okay, yeah, to switch, no, not like that, no, redstone, why do you hate me, okay, well, I guess I'd have to do it from over there. But basically, if if there was no one in it, it would go one way and swing back around and drop back at your beginning point. Um, I might try to do that uh, at some other point in time, but it's that'll take more planning than this little thingy here. Um, so let's just... Let's just do this real quick. And then uh, we will call it a video. So this might work, this might not work. But uh, the idea is there. I mean, I hate that this is pushing me so far down the line. Yeah, so it finally worked after so many blocks. Um, but, it, for example, if there's no one in it... It doesn't trigger the thing, so it just stops, and then you can hit it with your sword. Uh, and it just prevents empty ones from being sent way down the line. Uh, I don't think this will even push it far enough. So it's pr it doesn't look like it's going to work very well with powered ones like this. Um... We can see if that 
this will make any difference. Uh, I'm just experimenting now. <laughs> Sorry if I'm uh, boring you or anything. Um, no, nah, still not fast enough. You could also move this out further, but then that's further. You have to mo walk to retrieve the cart. Um, I will, I will see if that. Oh, this is gonna have to be a real block. If that'll work easier, real quick, with powered lines. Um, so if I fix this back. One, two, three, four. Oh, just barely. So it is possible, it's just uh, a little difficult to do. The easier design might be the thing that automatically returns a cart if it goes further down. I'll uh, work on that and get back to you about it um, soon. I'll probably implement those in the server. No, really? Okay, so this is a little frustrating. Um, but again, it'll... Oh, well, I don't know if it works now because it's too far away. Um, if I get in it... Uh, yeah, see, it'll turn off by the time I get to it. <laughs> but um, the idea works. You just have to fiddle with it a little bit. Um, just because I'm really curious. I'll do it one more time. Helpful to place blocks when it. There you go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so it'll work if it's one, two, three, four. So it's if it's the fourth block away from this, from us starting anything like this. So it'll it'll differ depending on your setup, depending on how many powered rails you use. If it actually has an incline like this, um, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but there you go, a little uh, little device to keep your runaway tracks from uh, running away. And uh, we'll do this once more, just to show that it catches. So yeah, there you go. Uh, I hope you find this useful and that you'll use it. Um, cause it's, it's a little, it's nifty if, um, <laughs> from preventing mishaps or, uh, having, uh, empty carts along your track because you forgot that you sent it out there and then go get it and then you get stopped by an empty cart, that kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> so there you go. Hope you liked it. I did want to show you guys one last thing, uh, that I just realized I'm actually um, adding it on to the end of this video because uh, I didn't think it was long enough uh, to bother making its own video with. But I realized that because you can't put pressure plates on uh, half steps, but you can put this over top of half slabs. Uh, so that makes, like, if if you watch my uh server videos uh the entrance to my house uh uses half half steps and then it has like pistons um that are that control the entrance so <coughs> you know it's got it's got these blocks up here um that close a door actually let me uh let me switch those up for sticky ones So they have like a thing, and then you can go out uh, this has to be like this, yeah. So I can, oh, I don't have redstone. <coughs> so 
so I can run some redstone. No. Uh, like this. And now I, um, let me, I'll go ahead and put a repeater on here. And I believe I can do it here. Yep. Just because, uh, oh, and this actually makes doorways easier. Because, uh, normally you have to run lines under, uh, the pressure plates. Uh, but this way it already has the lines on the two different sides of the door. So I can just do this. That's actually really nifty. Uh, that makes... I'm going to do this to my door, I think. I mean, it's kind of annoying that it's something sticking out. Uh, it's not the most uh, appealing that it could be. But, I mean, you can hide it kind of in the wall. I'm just... I wish you can... I mean, I, you can make this invisible in a texture pack, but you would still see these outlines when you got close. But... Uh, either way, this is really nifty for doorways. So, I'll just... I don't know why I'm doing this, but it's its fun, you know? <laughs> um, <coughs> okay, so I can, I can walk through here like that. That's... And then I don't have to press a button or anything, and it's a lot easier to wire up. That's actually really cool. Um... I didn't realize how cool the uh, things would be, but like I'm really, uh, really. What did I? What am I doing? Does this have to go up here? Does this work? Yeah. So this is really nifty for building doors and that kind of thing. I'm just gonna do a complete door. Um, to show everybody. Oh, I guess I can do it like that now. Because it's got a block to go straight. And then, like on my door, it has blocks kind of across here. And we'll go ahead and camouflage this. Just to make it look pretty. Oh like that um so i have blocks kind of like this this is what my door looks like um sort of this is the the moving part of the door looks like that but you know the top part's a little different um uh, i'm just messing with blocks now oh that's not even the right block i want i don't know anyways <coughs> moral of the story is oh and i can go ahead and do this over here. And even if I have it up on a block, it's not a big deal. Because um, mine kind of comes out to ground level. Like it's below ground level by half a block, and then it comes out to actual ground level. So. I approach it. Oh, uh, <laughs> it would help if I wired it up, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, go ahead and put that repeater back in. And I probably don't even need it on that high of a delay because you saw I was walking into the door before it opened. But this, oh man, this door was, this is so much simpler. Uh, that was really s easy. Uh-oh. What if I messed up? What did I do wrong? Oh, hang on. Why aren't those attached? They're attached on the other side. I wonder if it's messing up because of these steps. Let's uh, put a... Oh. Interesting. What's going on here? Okay, so that's weird. Is this going to mess it up? 
Yeah. Huh. So, how is it on the other side? It's like they're all irregular. I don't. Oh, hmm. It's interesting that this is causing an issue. Let me see if this works because this is what's on the other side. Yeah, okay. So it's a little finicky, but that makes the door so much easier to use. And I can keep my half block design. It, it's only a little intrusive when you get up here close and you see that. Uh, but no, this is really cool. Uh, I hope this didn't add too much time over uh, what I already had. But um, I hope you th thought this was as cool as I did. But uh, it's actually really neat for when you have decorative like half steps like that. So cool. Cool, cool, cool. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.